Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my November 2017 book haul part 2. So there are 12 books here that I'm going to talk about that I've bought over the last few weeks. Um, I've actually bought about 20 more books than this. But I, um, Harlequin uh, was having a big sale on their box sets. And what those are is um, each series, like the Special Edition or the Blaze or the Desire or whatever they are, they come out with so many books per month, between four and six, and they bundle them together. So, you know, if it's six books, you get three and three, so box one of two and box two of two. And, uh, you know, if it's only four, then you get just those four. Um, and they range in price, they're like $12, $10, you know, they're not exactly cheap. It's actually still about the same price as a typical paperback novel that you would buy like for a single book but you're getting three or four depending on how many well they were having a big sale on a whole bunch of them and they were on for like 99 cents or a dollar 99 so I kind of went a little crazy and I bought a bunch of them so um, I'm actually gonna be doing those in a separate haul um, of just those books so those of you who might be interested in them can obviously come and see them so these are all the other books that I bought outside of that so the first one I want to talk about is protective instincts by Shirley McCoy this is book number one in the Mission Rescue series, and this one was on sale. It's a Harlequin, uh, it's a love-inspired romantic suspense novel, which you guys know I really do enjoy, and Shirley McCoy is a really great author for these, so I had to pick this one up. Um, the next one is The Blackest Crimson by Deborah Webb. This is book number 0.5 in the Shades of Death series, so I read um, the first book on audio last week or the week before, and I really liked it. And it wasn't until I was halfway through that book that I realized that there was a prequel novella that goes to it. So I immediately bought it. So I do plan on actually reading it in December because it does take place over the Christmas season. It's a probably going to be a very terrifying and disturbing book if you guys watch my review for that one. Um, but I still really am looking forward to it. The next one sounds like so much fun. And I cannot say this title of this book without having the Christmas Carol in my head. This is a very Christmas heavy book haul, by the way. And that is Rusty Murdered Gentleman by Vicki Delaney. This is the first book in a year-round Christmas mystery. It's a cozy mystery series. I saw it and I immediately put it on, um, on my wish list because it looked like a lot of fun. But I think it was like $10 for this book. And then I was going through and checking to see if I had any price drops on my wish list. And this is one of them. It was on for $1.99. So I immediately snatched it up and I cannot wait to read it. Um, the next one is One More Kiss by Samantha Chase. This is the first book in the Band on the Run series. This is a straight contemporary romance. I guess it's about a rock star. Um, I saw this one come up um, as like a daily deal or something like that, so I decided to pick it up. Samantha Chase, I have not read her before, but I've heard good things, and I've seen um, reviews on her books get pretty decent reviews. And I don't know, for those of you who listen to country music and who know who Kit Moore is, does he not kind of look like Kit Moore? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> the next book that I got is The Playboy Next Door by Christina uh, uh, Tetriolt, I think is how you say her last name. Um, this is the third book in the Love on the North Shore series. This is another contemporary romance series that takes place in a small town, which is my bread and butter. I absolutely love these, and I want to read all of them. Um, again, I've seen some pretty good reviews for these books. This one was on sale. And the first book, which I also got, which is called The Courage to Love, of course, by the same author, uh, book number one in the Love on the North Shore series, that one's free for Amazon, it's for the Kindle. So if you're interested, definitely check both of those out. I think they are available on ebook as or on um, uh, audio as well. Um, the next book I got is Home to Wick, Wickham Fall, Wickham Falls by Rochelle Allers. Um, this is the first book in the Wickham Falls Weddings series. This is a Harlequin special edition novel. Again, I saw it come up as a deal, and if I ever see a Harlequin book come up on a deal, I immediately purchase it because even though they're not in physical format, one of my goals, you know, one of those crazy life goals would be to own as many Harlequin books as I can on ebook because I love them so much. Um, and speaking of those books, that's what the next books are all going to be. So the first one is Christmas at Cardwell Ranch by B.J. Daniels. This is the fourth book in the Cardwell Ranch series. This is a Harlequin Intrigue novel. And also a Harlequin Intrigue novel by B.J. Daniels is Keeping Christmas. These actually came 
in a two book set. And I mentioned at the beginning of this video the bundles that I'm buying from Harlequin. Now on Goodreads you can actually put that you bought the bundle and you know you can get that and put it as want to read. I'm listing all the books separately because that's how I plan on reading them. I'm not going to be picking up a bundle and reading the four books in that back to back to back because I do like to read my series in order and each one belongs to a different series generally and things like that. So that's why I have them all listed separately and that's how they're listed on Goodreads is separately. That's just how I'm deciding to do it. You know, your mileage may vary um, if you decide to buy into these, um, these box set series. Um, because the way I look at it is if you buy a, a box set of a physical book, you're not necessarily going to sit and read that entire box set in one, you know, in one go and label it as one book. It's not. It's, you know, if it's Harry Potter, it's seven separate books or whatever. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Um, so I got those two books by BJ Daniels. And then when I was going through some of the box sets that were on sale, I was checking to make sure I didn't already own at least one of the books. If I owned one of the books in that box set, I didn't buy it because it wasn't worth the money to me. But what I did was, um, for the first one, it was a Harlequin historical box set that I wanted for 99 cents. And I owned one, no, I owned two of the books already. So I went ahead and I went on um, Harlequin and I used my rewards points and I got that third book that was in that box set, which is um, Temptation of a Governess by Sarah Mallory. This is book number two in the infamous Ara Dale series and it sounds really good and I just kind of wanted to complete the set, the box set, even though it's not really a set, but whatever. Um, the next ones I got, I checked this set and I owned one of the books but I didn't have the other two. So again, I used my Harlequin Rewards points and I got the other two sets, or the other two books in this set and that is Coming Home for Christmas by Marie Farinella. This is book number 15 in the Matchmaking Mama series and you guys know me, I love Christmas books so much. And the next one is A Cowboy for Christmas by Rachel Lee. This is uh, book number 27 in the Connor County, The Next Generation series. So yeah, slowly filling in, like these books, I have no intention on reading anytime soon. I'm filling in spots for series because I am so big on reading things in order. So like if I come up to that, you know, book number 27, I will go back and start at number one and slowly work my way through. It may take me years and years and years. I don't care because there are always going to be fun books to read and, you know, I'm absolutely fine with it. Um, so yeah. So anyway, guys, that is it for my book haul. I tried to keep this real short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or if you're interested in any of these books or what are some good books that you guys have bought recently. I'd love to know. And until my next video, guys, take care and happy reading. Bye.